Hello friends, my name is Narendra Singh and today I will guide you about basic format of ODK using Excel. You can use Microsoft Excel or Google Spreadsheet. In this video, I will use Microsoft Excel. Let's begin with the video. In ODK form, when you will create any ODK form, there are three sheets that should be neat in each and every ODK form. Let's move on an example as well. Here you will find out three worksheets. First one is survey, second one is choice and third one is settings. In survey sheet, there are three mandatory columns are there. First one is type, second one is name, third one is label. In label, you can write what you want to see on ODK form. Like I, your question will be entry of first name. You can write down entry of first name. If you want to ask entry or age, you can write entry or age and what or what is your age. If you want to ask gender, you can write down. Remember one thing: when you will see label, it means this will be show on ODK form. Okay. Now let's move on the second column. That is name. Name column contains unique variable name for each and every question. So, enter your first name is variable name is first name. If you will write down first name here again and you will compile this form, then you will get error. Why? Because each and every label should be a unique variable. It's thumb rule of any programming language. Now, let's go on third one, type. This type can be text, integer, select one, select multiple, or date, time, GPS, etc. We will discuss more about type in later videos. So suppose in the first question I am asking entry of first name, then name, a variable name should be first name and the type that should be text. It means I am entering, I am asking with the respondent about his first name with text or a string data type if i'm saying enter your age it means i'm asking about age and here integer says i am asking respondent's value in integer not float not a string it's integer third one is about the gender list it's select one so i will explain what is select one later in this video now move on second sheet that is choices in choices sheet all, remember one thing, choices sheet also come with three mandatory columns. First one is list name, second one is name, third one is label. And if you will see, you will see only general list is here. Neither age like in question, we will have text, integer, gender list, but only gender list I mentioned over here. Choices sheet only work when you have multiple answer for a question or you have certain conditions which you want to calculate in the background as well okay so list name in general list you will see male and female select one I will give you a, a practical example once we will go with setting as well so begin with the setting in setting form title in settings you can write down form title form ID or default language it's like and remember one thing I write down F in uppercase I in lower R in small S T in uppercase so let's begin with the conversion of this form I import this form from my computer and I click on submit. I will preview this in Ankento. Here. Now, as I told you, that I put this F I R S T in upper and lower case mixture of this. If I will see, it's upper and lower case. So, whatever you will type. ODK will take that as it is. Even in this question, you will see enter your name. Y and O, those are in uppercase, U and R in lowercase. And if we will go in the survey sheet, this is our question. Enter Y, O, Y, O, both are in uppercase and U and R in the lowercase. So, ODK is as intelligent as you are. So, remember one thing. Try to be particular on the things. Now, enter your first name. If you want to enter your first name, you can enter this and if you want to enter this you can enter this as well so this is the 
what I said the more intelligent you are the more intelligent is your ODK so I type only text here I need to restrict user in later video I will tell you how can a person restrict now enter your age with entered age in integer format so if I want to enter Y G F T I'm not able because I entered the variable in text now integer so I can type this even you can restrict user as well for enter only age less than 100 or something like that as I said select one so either you can select male or you can select female you can't select both at the same time so I did this thing thank you for watching my video if you have any comments or anything that you will share with me please feel free to share soon I will update a new video on type Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel. Have a great day ahead.